I came home and I just saw these little paws underneath the stairs. She was super scared, like everything was a threat. Anytime I'd take a couple steps, she would start backing up. But if I would lay some food out and just sit, she would be like, oh, okay, this is good. <laughs> Hello, my friend. Are you here for foods? We started to build this connection that our little balcony was a safe haven for her. So through that, I was able to get closer to her. And then I noticed that there was another kitten Uh-oh. <laughs> and then there was another one. <laughs> they realized when I came home and backed my car in, it's dinner, and then they were there. You said one kitten. There's five. <laughs> but they're There's all so five cute. Five cats. Chip is super curious, and she wants to go figure everything out. She's definitely a leader. She would be the first one to come up whenever she'd eat out of my hand or play around with the toys that we had. It felt like finally we're friends. <laughs> I just need to catch her so I can take her in to get her eye fixed. I uh, definitely may have had an emotional breakdown when it came to do I want to separate the kittens. It was really important that we had to get some medical help for Jip we're kind of playing it by ear of whenever she would be comfortable enough to get her into a carrier to take her to the vet. Ended up leading a trail of food in there, so now he's just chilling. The kitten is in the back. We got him covered up so he doesn't freak out. We were able to get her to the vet. It was very smooth. It's your weight, 2.2 pounds. It was the first time she's ever interacted with humans and she did a lot better than I was expecting. She acted very sweet and docile. The vet team was like, oh, are you sure she's a stray? She's so sweet. She's purring. How loud she was purring was just amazing. Like it echoed. We found out that the eye is a birth defect, so it never fully developed. I was like, we need to make sure she's taken care of. We kind of did a test run of having her inside. She ran under the shoe rack. I went and just started petting her, and right when I touched her, she started purring so loud. We made a little room for her and had some food out there. Also had the little box. I am so proud of you. After how quickly she adapted to being inside, we're like, oh wow, she's ready. Unfortunately, we weren't able to keep her because of allergies. But one of my coworkers, they're a newly married couple and they were super excited to bring a cat into the mix, especially someone that's like Chip. They're going to be working with that closely to see if could possibly restore some vision. We were super sad to see her go, but she's definitely ready to be curious in her new home and get all this love by this new family. With the other kittens, because they're more feral and they weren't adjusting that well. I knew in my heart that it would be a better idea to have them outside where they're all still in the community together. We got them humanely trapped and we took them to the vet, got them all spayed and neutered, got all their rabies vaccines and microchipped. So we definitely can keep up with them. I'm still treating them as my patio cats. So I know that where they're at now, they're all together and they are being taken care of. It's a really beautiful thing that we can all exist on the same planet and sometimes it's really a blessing to take those moments where you as a human can reach your hand out and help them. Mm -hmm.